Oh, hello, welcome to Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse in the beginning. A apparently a dark humor post-apocalyptic game in which you're supposed to survive based on resources and persuasion and not making mistakes. The developer sent me a key to beta test, or at the very least, sent a limited amount of keys to people, I being one of them, so I'd like to thank you for sending me a key. I will joyfully try out your game and see how fun it is. If it's really fun, we'll keep playing. I mean, I hope I'll keep playing because, I mean, I don't like stopping a game in the mid of a play. Hank! Hank! Salesman of the year. Just, you know, covered in cobwebs. Let me in. It's open. Kind of... What kind of animals are these, though? This one's a rabbit, clearly, but... A dog? I guess? It's madness. Fucking madness out there. The hell are you talking about? The end of the world! Sure. Can you grab a beer from the fridge? Place this sh you're, So wait, 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 you're saying the end of the world hasn't happened yet and this is the kind of shit they live in and there's... This is just money laying on the ground next to a trash bag. Who has money littered on the ground next to trash bags? But hey, let's... You really don't know yet. Know what? Are you kidding me, says the spastic wolf. You didn't notice all the gunshots and screaming. I figured animals were just celebrating something. Just turn on the fucking news, dude. Jeez, fine. <laughs> what? Is he, eating a, is he eating a hand? Coming at you live from Beaver Street. It's complete and utter chaos here. Animals are going mad, biting each other. Will anyone tell us what's going on? Is this for real? It's kind of exciting. Oh, um... Like, I'm playing the rabbit. Uh, let's just go with... Let's go with what I would answer. Yes. A fucking zombie apocalypse, dude. Wow. What are we gonna do, Hank? Well, we're not going out there, that's for sure. You brought the coke. Oh man, why am I even asking you? But yes, I brought the coke. Okay, let's get this end of the world party started. Let me just call everybody. Ah, son of a bitch, no signal. All right, scrap that plan. Let's do something productive. I have an idea. Okay. We'll go through my whole zombie-related Blu-ray collection. To prepare for the apocalypse? Yeah, sure. Now you're talking some sense. I don't know if I should even like this rabbit character. What? I... You shouldn't be stock up on supplies. Relax, I'm prepared for the situation. I've got a year's worth of food and drink up in this place. Now pick one of these. Oh god. Austin pa I think this would relate... Austin Powers wouldn't teach me survival. Night of the Living Dead. Let me think in terms of survival, if, if these would actually make... I'm going to... I'm under the impression, of course, that everything you say has an impact. Everything done or said has an impact. Austin Powers would not help us. Shaun of the Dead is more... comedic, if I recall correctly. Because there's... Shaun of the Dead is supposed to be a spoof of the Night of the Living Dead, so I think watching a real one... or a real more... less comedy... Both these are comedies, this one's more horror. So let's do the one that's more horror. I'm up for a classic, but I'll need some assistance to keep this interesting. That sounds completely wrong. He better not be asking for a blowjob while, uh, wa while watching. I got you covered, dude. I might- oh, it's okay, weed. My mind was somewhere else. I don't trust this rabbit either way. Groovy, roll him up! Oh, uh, power. You lost power. Don't worry, this happens sometimes. I'm sure they'll fix it in no time. Who's gonna fix it? Oh, yeah. It's a zombie apocalypse. Ah, fucking cabbage. I'm hoping there's gonna be like... Four months? I'm hoping there's gonna be some kind of character development, because right now, personally, I, I don't have any likeness of this character. Like a fat, lazy, retired slob? W what am I supposed to feel about him? Larry! Wake up! Wake come here. Another runner? Apparently they've just been living here the whole time. Just look at that groovy motherfucker go. In the park. The horse? Yes. 
He's already dodged a dozen zombies. Whoa, this one's good! Okay, can you show me? He might be the first animal this week to survive the park run-through. Care to make it interesting? I bet you two lines of coke. Uh, let's try let's try to be positive rather than either nihilistic or negative. He'll make it. Come on, horsey. That's a boy. Oh! Watch out for the corner zombie, you idiot! That'll be the end of him. No, horsey! Oh shit. He's done. They always ignore the corners. Wait, we didn't say what I'll get if he dies. Wait. Well, never mind. We're out of coke. Wait, we're so wagering coke that doesn't exist? What? And toilet paper. Son of a bitch. Well, you'll drop down to the store and pick up some supplies. Why me? Because we ate my food for four months. Hell no. I'm too small. And what, I'm big? You're a rabbit. You can hop right out of trouble. I'm 63 years old. No excuse. How can a rabbit live that fucking long? I don't hop anymore. Not since the incident. Well, this is just great. You know what? I'll help you out. Do we still have your walkie-talkies in my van? Those are impossible to sell. I'll get in the van. It's parked right outside. And I'll guide you using its roof binoculars and a walkie-talkie. Ah. Finally putting that pervy upgrade on your van to a good use, huh? You're checking out ladies through that thing just as much as I was. I was just checking the binocular zoom capacity. Yeah, each time you're in the van. Let's just do this stupid thing. <laughs> Saving it's a fucking floppy disk, damn that's ancient. Alright. WASD to move binoculars. Hank. He is. Do you see me? Yes, I see you. Feeling comfortable in the van. Can't complain. I really miss the old mating machine. I had some good times in this thing. Thank God Street Riots didn't destroy her. Alright, alright. I'm getting a bit uneasy here. Look at all this blood. Am I supposed to like warn if a zombie's coming like in these directions? So does it look safe to go in? There's blood, there's a fish corpse there. There is a little bit of blood there, but mm, as far as I can tell, you can't tell. Uh, I, yeah, I can't look through the walls. The door is locked. Do you want this broken glass to skin me alive while I squeeze through it? Oh, come on, you're tiny. Just be careful. Now, nah, I have my lock picking. Oh, he. Okay, it's locked. But he happens to have lock picking tools on him. Why the fuck would he complain about it being locked if he oh, if, if he had lock picking tools on him? You know it's not the best time for showing off. No, I'm not. Oh, oh just shut up. Left click to push. Hmm. There. Okay, I'm very impressed. You lock pick a wide open broken door. Will you go inside? I'm in. Okay. Ah, shit. You just had to pick a store that's already gutted. There's got to be something in there. Well, let me look around a bit. There are a few boxes of cigarettes. Oh, nice. Interesting. So, I'm, I'm literally just a retired rabbit that's just on lookout or something? I mean... Wow, full box. I mean, we can sell that shit, probably. And, ugh. What? Well, I guess that's it. That's it? Wait, there's another door. Snip it out. Oh, dude, I don't know. Can you see if it's clear? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, no. I can't really see in the other room. There is blood in there. I'm gonna suppose that's pretty much a red flag. What? The window in that room is covered with something. Well, this is just great. I know you're going to be a huge help. Ah. Uh, hmm. It looks like there's no other way. I'm gonna have to... I would check out that room. How about fasting for a day or two? It's actually very detoxifying. 
It's called fasting when you actually have the choice of eating food. In our case, it's called starving. I'm going to check it out. I, I would say he should. Is it all clear? He should be the one answering that question. We just get over it. It's dark at... Stark? I can barely see anything. Hello? Any zombies in here? If they can talk back, then we're truly screwed. So there's a fridge near the door. And I think I see a window with a blanket over it. Yes, I can see the window. Go take the blanket. Uh, there could be more things in the loot there. Oh, dude, I don't know. What if there's something in the dark? Alright, I'm just going to end it abruptly here. I, I played way too much. I'm just splitting it in half as I normally do if I play and lose track of time. So I'm ending it here. I'm going to continue it very quickly. I'll upload both episodes today. So any of you who feel like this is just like a cliffhanger of some sort, no worries, no worries. I'll upload it right after and then render both the same time. Or, sorry, render one after the other. Essentially not at the same time. I can't do that. My computer will not handle that. So... Basically, yep, yeah, just we're ending here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.